For humankind, we looked at how religion shaped history, sometimes in amazing ways, sometimes in darker ways. We wanted religion to reflect this, to reinforce the immersion, enabling you to craft a deeper identity for your civilization, but also providing a way for you to influence your people in the neighboring cultures. Now, religion evolves over the course of the game. It's volatile at first, with one religion for every civilization. Religions slowly consolidates into a few large blocks. Civics also allow you to decide how religion is handled in your civilization. So once your population has grown enough, you're able to found your first religion. And then as the number of followers of that religion grows, you can add new tenets to the religion, which add bonuses. You can also adopt historical religions in order to gain access to additional holy sites. Territories generate faith based on civics, holy sites, religious districts, and so on. This faith is then used to spread your religion across the map. So if a territory is producing more faith than its neighbors, then after a few turns, those territories, those neighboring territories will convert to your religion. You should note though that uh, this can cause grievances to be a cause for war down the road. Each civilization has a state religion. If enough followers of a different religion, though, are present within your borders, you can choose to adopt that religion as your state religion. There'll be impacts on stability, so either bonuses or penalties, based on what proportion of your population follows your state religion. So you'll want to go along with what your population wants. And there are various other reasons why you want, might want to change. For instance, uh, empires might be able to justify wars against you if you're of a different religion or you might want to adopt a neighbor's religion because it's quite strong, because it has a lot of tenets and bonuses. Bear in mind that only the religious leader, so that is the civilization which controls the most holy sites, is able to pick the next tenets that will be added to the religion. Players will use civics to define their civilization's posture towards religion. So this will allow players to choose uh, how they treat religious minorities or whether they go to war for religion. So you can pursue your religion very aggressively, expanding its borders, going to war, persecuting or banishing minorities, or you can go for something much more open. So uh, accepting minorities, separating church and state. Or alternatively, you can leave this entirely up to your population. So you can accept uh, the religion that they choose, maybe a neighbor's religion that's stronger than yours. Various cultures in the game use religion in a number of different ways. Uh, for instance, in the early game, the Olmecs, with their emblematic district, the Colossal Head, are particularly good at spreading their religion because it produces a lot of faith. Uh, other cultures have synergy bonuses, so gain economic benefits when they're building next to religious districts. And others, as well, might have military bonuses, so for instance, the Teuton culture, their Teuton Knights, uh, gain combat strength bonuses against units belonging to religions other than theirs. So, religion is one additional way for you to shape your own civilization and leave your mark on humankind.